Hello everyone, welcome to Vidyan. So this is the session on GK. Today we will be solving the question paper of 2015. Okay. So before moving on to the session, please like, share and subscribe the channel. And uh, for further notification, you can press the bell icon button. Okay. You will get the notification further. Okay. And uh, if you have any queries regarding aptitude, reasoning and English, you can go through our channel playlist called PGCET MBA. Okay. You can click this. You will get the whole question, solved question paper from 2022 to 2015. Okay. So let us move on to the session. First question is, which among the following brands does not belong to Nestle? Which among the brands does not belong to Nestle? The options are A. Sunrise, B. Frafe, D. C. Brew, D. Choc Cafe. So the answer is Brew. So Brew brand is does not belong to Nestle and these three belongs to Nestle. Okay. So Brew is the does not belong to Nestle. Next one. How many companies shares are represented in census of the Bombay Stock Exchange? How many companies shares are represented in the census of the Bombay Stock Exchange? Options are A 33, B 50, D uh, sorry C 32, D 30. So how many companies in 2015 that is answer is 30 okay so uh, 30 companies represented in the census of bombay stock exchange in 2015 okay and uh, census is represents the what is that census represents the indian economies performance okay so sensex represents the indian economics performance so here there are many companies shares included like uh, asian paints axis bank then hdfc bank axis bank then hdfc bank icici bank then bharti airtel then Techmahindra, TCS, Titan company like that. So many more companies are uh, holds the shares in the Sensex, Sensex of the Bombay Stock Exchange. Okay, next question. Which among the following nations is the second largest exporter of oil that is petroleum in a world? Which of the uh, which among the following nations is the second largest exporter of oil petroleum in the world options are a united arab emirates b kuwait c russia d venezuela so the answer is second uh, largest exporter okay uh, here they have given second largest exporter that is russia okay then the what is the first one first one is saudi arabia okay Saudi Arabia, next Russia, exporter, okay, remember this, this is the exporter, then third one is uh, Iraq, fourth one is Canada, fifth is UAE, sixth is Nigeria, seventh is Iran, okay, eighth one is Kuwait, then ninth one is Norway. Then tenth one is Kazakhstan. Kazakhstan, okay. These are the top ten exporter of the oil in the world. Okay, remember this. First one is Saudi Arabia, then Russia, then Iraq, Canada, UAE, then Nigeria, then Iran, Kuwait, Norway, Kazakhstan. Okay, these are the exporters. Okay, we will see similarly. We will see the imports, okay? Imports. We will see the imports. 
okay top importers like european union top one okay then next china then us india japan south korea and germany okay these are the top importers of the oil in the world okay remember this as well as we will see top production in the whole world that is production okay that is usa russia saudi arabia arabia then canada iraq okay these are the top production in the world whereas consumption consumption that is usa european union union then china india japan saudi arabia okay so these are the main uh, countries who has the more consumption in the world okay remember this this is important so second largest exporter of the oil in the world is russia okay remember this next question the following pairs show groups and companies promoted by them which among the following is wrongly matched okay you have to see which of the following is wrongly matched okay they have given pairs of groups and the their companies okay promoted by them options are a av birla group rasim tata group hotel taj thapar group built and reliance hindalco so the answer is reliance hindalco why is that that is hindalco is the group of which one which is that aditya birla group okay so remember this so as well as this is this one is built not uh, uh, this thing what is that birla group built so this one is built total uh, full form is built middle east private limited okay remember this okay so hindalco is not part of the reliance it is a part of the aditya birla group okay next question v2 is the upgraded version of the which among the following cars the options are a fiat valeo uh, b hyundai centro c tata tata indica d maruti versa so the answer is tata indica okay so v2 is the upgraded version of the tata indica next one euro 1 euro 2 euro and euro 3 norms are related to so euro 1 euro 2 and euro 3 norms are related to so these are the uh, euro 1 euro 2 and euro 3 are the european emission standards okay Okay, remember this euro 1 euro 2 and euro 3 are the norms related to which one options are a automobile engine b computer chips c auto fuel d none of the above so the answer is auto fuel okay these are the emission standards so it belongs to the auto fuel okay so these stages what is that euro 1 euro 2 and euro 3 refers to the light duty vehicle standards okay as well as european emission standards so in india that is euro norms are uh, like uh, they specified in india as bs1 bs2 and bs3 what is bs that is bharat stage emission 
standards okay so here in india it is referred as bs1 bs2 and bs3 that is bar stage emission standard okay remember this next question fiscal deficit refers to the fiscal refers a uh, deficit refers to the options are a final revenue deficit of the government b actual deficit of the government c deficit related to non tax revenue d none of the above the answer is which one actual deficit of the government okay remember this this is fiscal deficit refers to the actual deficit of the government what is the fiscal deficit that means it is the difference between i mean difference between the in uh, i mean indian government government's total revenue total revenue and expenditure of the in the final year financial year okay expenditure in the financial year okay so financial fiscal deficit means difference between the government's total revenue and expenditure in the financial year okay so uh, fiscal deficit arises i mean this uh, fiscal deficit arises when the uh, expenditure of the government i mean uh, this expenditure of government is more okay more than the revenue generated by the government by the government in the fiscal fiscal year okay so fiscal deficit rises um, when the expenditure of the government is more than the revenue generated by the government in the present fiscal year remember this okay so fiscal deficit refers to the actual deficit of the government next one which among the following nations is the richest nations in the nation in the arab world which among the following nations is the richest nation in the arab world okay so the options are a uh, united arab Emir emirates b saudi arabia c qatar d kuwait so the answer is so richest in the arab world is qatar okay so so the qatar's uh, gdp per capita is approx approximate is dollar 1,34,620 dollars okay us dollars so and uh, it has the one of the largest oil and natural gas reserves okay oil and natural gas reserves so it has the largest reserves and uh, the second one i mean uh, the second richest is second richest arab arab uh, nation is that is uae that is united uh, united arab emirates third one is kuwait huh? fourth one is saudi arabia fourth one is bahrain huh? then sixth one is oman seventh one is egypt okay then uh, eighth one is lebanon then algeria algeria then libya okay these are the top 10 arab countries that is richest nation in the arab world okay remember this second one is uae third one is kuwait and the first one is qatar okay remember this next one your dreams our commitment is the punchline of your dreams our commitment is the punchline of options are a birla sun life b om kotak mahindra C. Alliance Bajaj Insurance. D. None of the above. So the answer is Birla Sun Life Insurance Company. Okay. So uh, your dreams and our uh, sorry your dreams our commitment is the punchline of the Birla Sun Life Insurance com Company. Similarly, Bajaj Alliance Company it has the punchline as Geo Bayfikar. Okay. Similarly, SBI Life Insurance. SBI Life Insurance is that is with us 
यू आर श्योर ओके जस्ट रिमेम्बर दिस विथ अस यू आर श्योर ऑफ दी इट इज द पंचलन ऑफ द एस बी आई लाइफ इंश्योरेंस एंड अलायंस बजाज अलायंस इंश्योरेंस इज दैट जियो बेफिकर ओके रिमेम्बर दिस नेक्स्ट वन सी आई आई इज ओके सी आई आई इज ए सो वॉट इज सी आई आई फुल फॉर्म दैट इज वट इज दैट कॉन्फेडरेशन ओके ऑफ इंडियन इंडस्ट्री ओके रिमेम्बर दिस सी आई आई मीन्स कॉन्फेडरेशन ऑफ इंडियन इंडस्ट्री सो ऑप्शन विल सी द ऑप्शन दैट इज पब्लिक लिमिटेड कंपनी बी प्राइवेट लिमिटेड कंपनी सी इंडस्ट्रियल अफेक्ट बॉडी डी नन ऑफ द अब सी सी हियर दैट इज इट इज बिलोंग टू द इंडस्ट्री कॉन्फेडरेशन ऑफ इंडियन इंडस्ट्री सो दैट मीन्स द ऑप्शन इज सी वेर इंडस्ट्रियल अफेक्ट बॉडी ओके सो दिस सी आई आई दैट इज सी आई आई फाउंडेड इन नाइनटीन एटी फाइव ओके सो इट इज द नॉन गवर्नमेंटल नॉन प्रॉफिटेबल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन विच अचीव द like uh, uh, which uh, helps the growth of the industry and the civil society in india okay so it helps in the growth of the industries growth of industries and growth of the civil society okay civil society society in india okay remember this this is the non profitable and non governmental organization okay remember this next one in the last one decade which one of the following sectors has attracted the highest foreign direct investment inflows to into india okay the options are a chemicals other than fertilizers b service sector c food processing d telecommunications so the answer is service sector so service sectors has attracted the highest foreign di direct investment inflows into india and the second one is telecommunication okay second one i mean uh, second one is telecommunication second one okay first one is service sector second one is foreign uh, sorry uh, first one is service sector second one is telecommunication so we will see what is foreign direct investment so it is like a ownership uh, stake in the foreign company or the project made by the an investor okay so and the uh, or the government from the other company so it is called as foreign direct investment okay so ownership uh, stake in the foreign company or the project made by the investor of uh, foreign countries or government from the another country it is called as foreign direct investment okay so service sector has the largest share that is 17.6% okay 17.6% uh, whereas uh, telecommunication has 8.13% then uh, third one is trading okay third one is trading uh, which has uh, given like 5.81% then chemicals this is chemicals chemicals has given 3.82% then uh, drugs and pharma okay pharmaceutical drugs and pharmaceuticals and pharma has given 3.59% and last one is construction construction has given 3.54% okay so this sector sectors uh, has attracted the highest foreign uh, uh, foreign direct investment in india okay remember this first one is 17.6% of uh, service sector then telecommunication 8.13% third one is trading fourth one is uh, this thing chemicals then th four, fifth one is drugs then sixth one is construction okay remember this so let us see in 2000 uh, like uh, 2021 and 22 okay we will see the highest uh, ever received the foreign direct investment like from the five countries okay we will see who invested the which country invested the foreign direct investment in india okay we'll see first one is singapore singapore invested in india that is 27.01% okay highest one second one is usa that is 17.94% then third one is mauritius mauritius 
that is 15.98 percent then fourth one is netherland netherland 7.86 percent and fifth one is switzerland okay these are the switzerland that is 7.3 percent okay 7.31 percent okay remember this. so these are the uh, top five countries uh, that has invested in india uh, from the foreign direct investment okay so these are the five countries let us see uh, which states has uh, uh, received the foreign direct investment highest in india okay we will see that okay we will see okay first one is karnataka top most is karnataka so it has received foreign direct investment of 37.55% okay second one is maharashtra that is 26.26% okay then third one is that is delhi delhi got 13.93% fourth one is tamil nadu tamil nadu got 5.10% then fourth fifth one is haryana Haryana got 4.76 percent. Okay, these are the top states which got the highest uh, foreign direct investment in the year of 2021 and 22. Okay, remember this. First one is Karnataka, second one is Maharashtra, third one is Delhi, fourth one is Tamil Nadu, and fifth one is Haryana. Okay, so remember this. Next one. Development expenditure of the central government does not include. Development expenditure of the central government does not include. So the we'll see first what is development expenditure. That is, it is the development expenditure is the money spent by the central government. Okay, on the development and the welfare of the programs. Whereas it is the part of the non-planned expenditure. Okay, expenditure. So remember this. It is the development expenditure means it is the part of the non-planned. expenditure okay we have to see that development expenditure of the central government does not include so which uh, development expenditure which does not include we have to see that okay the options are a defense expenditure b uh, expenditure on economic services c uh, expenditure on uh, social and community services d grant to states so the option is defense and uh, sorry uh, option a is the does not include the development expenditure so these three includes in the development expenditure that is non planned expenditures okay so these three are the plan non planned expenditures and this is planned one okay so the this uh, defense one does not belong to the development expenditure of okay. the next one entomology is the science that includes a uh, sorry studies entomology is the science that studies options are a behavior of uh, human beings b insects c the origin and history of the technical and scientific term d the formation of rock so entomology so that science studies with uh, studies the insects okay remember this answer is insects next one Which is that? Uh, which one of the for which one of the following disciplines is Nobel Prize awarded? Okay, so we have to see the following disciplines and we have to see answer the options. Which of the following uh, disciplines is the Nobel Prize awarded? Okay, so first one A, physics and chemistry. B, psychology, uh, physiology and uh, medicine. C, literature, peace and economics. And D, all of the above. so the answer is all of the above okay so uh, the nobel prize is awarded for uh, physics chemistry physiology medicine literature peace and economics okay so it was nobel prize we will see what is nobel prize nobel prize it was awarded in the uh, i mean established in the 1895 uh, so it was named after the alfred nobel okay so in uh, 2022 we will see recently in 2022 who got awarded in physics physics uh, um, three of them they awarded in physics got awarded that is 
Alain Aspect, John F. Clauser, and Anton Zillinger. Okay, in chemistry, Carolyn R. Bartozzi and uh, Morton Meldal and uh, K. K. Berry. Okay, in uh, peace chemistry also they got award in peace also they got award in 2022. That is in for peace it was awarded to Alice Bielski. Okay, Bielski. Okay. So and from India, okay, from India we will see. From India, uh, in 2019, in 2019, uh, Abhijit, Abhijit Banerjee, he got awarded for economics. Okay, economics. Then in 2014, an Indian that is. Kailash Satyarthi, okay? Satyarthi for what? Peace. Okay? Recently, I mean in 2019 and 2014, okay, from India, many of them they have got, but still, total uh, Nobel Prize uh, awarded for, in, for India, that is total 11, in that I have mentioned only two, okay? So, 2019 and 2014. Remember this. Next one. Exposure to sunlight helps a person to improve his health because exposure to sunlight helps a person to improve his health because options are A. Infrared lights kill bacteria in the body. B. Resistance uh, power increase. C. The pigment cells in the skin get the stimulated and uh, produce a health tan. D. The ultraviolet rays converts skin oil into vitamin D. So obviously you know that uh, from the sunlight you will get the vitamin D. So the option is vitamin D. Okay, I mean sorry, option is D. That is ultraviolet. The ultraviolet rays converts the skin oil into vitamin D. Okay, remember this. Next one. Guarantee to an exporter that importer of his goods will pay immediately for the goods ordered by him is known as. Okay, so guarantee to an exporter that the importer of his goods will pay immediately okay for the goods ordered by him okay is known as options are a letter of credit b uh, less is a fire c inflation d none of the above so it is letter of credit okay answer is let it letter of credit or it is also called as documentary credit okay remember this okay uh, so letter of credit is issued against the pledge of the securities or the cash okay so it is pledged against the issued against the against the pledge of securities or cash okay remember this next one who administers the oath of office to president of india so who administers the oath of office to president of india so the options are a prime minister b vice president c chief justice of uh, supreme court D. Lok Sabha Speaker. Okay. So, the answer is which one? That is Chief Justice of Supreme Court. Okay. Administers the oath of the office to the uh, President of India. Okay. So, uh, if uh, Chief Justice of Supreme Court is absent, that means uh, senior most judge of the Supreme Court can be, uh, can administer the oath to uh, of the office to the President of India. Okay. So, uh, article 60 okay deals with the oath and affirmation of the by the president okay deals with the oath and or affirmation by the president okay remember this article 360 
deals with the oath and uh, or the affirmation by the president okay so next uh, we will see president of india he is the um, the president of india he is the what is that head of the union executive okay so according to the article 56 according to article 56 uh, his total term is 5 years okay of his term is 5 years then uh, chief justice of india we will see about the chief justice of india so he is uh, appointed by the president under the clause 2 of article uh, 124 of the constitution so article 124 of the constitution he is appointed by the president of india okay so his office office term that is he can uh, work as a chief justice of uh, supreme court till like uh, he gets at, uh, attains the 65 age okay 65 years so he can uh, be as the chief justice of india so and uh, now uh, presently i mean currently there is 50th uh, chief justice of india that is d y chandrachud okay chandrachud that is from uh, 9th november 2022 so he is the 50th uh, chief justice of india and then who is the uh, where is wait who is the 49th one 49th one was that is uday umesh lalit okay so he got uh, retired from on the 4th november 2022 after that uh, dy chandrachud got appointed as the 50th uh, cji of india okay remember this next one white fi technology which use of a uh, wifi technology within the tv unused spectrum is being developed by white fi technology which of uh, use of a uh, wifi technology within the tv unused spectrum is developed being developed by which one a google b microsoft c facebook d ibm that is answer is which one that is microsoft okay so uh, it is uh, developed by the microsoft uh, microsoft pioneered the this project uh, like uh, it is like a last minute con- mile connectivity in the countries include like india india kenya singapore us and uk okay so it pioneered the project Uh, to last mile uh, connection connectivity in the countries india kenya singapore us and uk okay so main thing is that uh, 200 to 600 megahertz okay frequency is used for the tv channels to carry the data remember this okay next one which city has been chosen as the city of music by unesco under creative cities of network so which city has been chosen as the city of music by unesco under creative cities of network okay that is u c c n okay remember this we will see the options that is mysuru b pune c varanasi d patna so the city of music is awarded to varanasi as well as chennai okay chennai city okay chennai city these both cities got awarded as the city of music by the unesco creative cities of network okay so it was awarded in the category of music by the unesco's uh, under the unesco's uh, field of experience excellence okay field of excellence it got awarded in the field of music okay remember this so in the same way uh italian city of bolgona and uh, spain's civile uh, it was uh, first to join the in the list that in the city of music list okay so it is uh, italian city called bolgona bolgona and uh, spain's civile okay these cities were the first one to join the 
in the list of city of music by the under the uh, unesco's creative cities of uh, network okay similarly say like uh, unesco has included the mumbai and hyderabad uh, in its network for the creative cities okay in the category of the creative cities whereas uh, 66 cities were selected from on the occasion of the uh, which is that world cities day okay so it was happened in 2019 okay this selection uh, but uh, this world cities day they celebrated on 31st october okay every year okay remember this world cities day on 31st october whereas uh, mumbai i mean uh, mumbai got awarded in that 66 cities mumbai got awarded as the creative city of films then hyderabad creative city of creative city of gastronomy okay gastronomy gastronomy means it is like a uh, like good science of i mean art of eating okay gastronomy okay similarly jaipur and srinagar okay jaipur and srinagar got awarded as the city of crafts and folk arts okay jaipur and srinagar as awarded as the city of uh, crafts and folk arts okay and this uccn that is your unesco's creative cities of network it was uh, created in 2004 okay remember this so after this it got it all started varanasi and uh, chennai got the uh, name as city of music then uh, mumbai got creative city of films then hyderabad as creative city of gastronomy then jaipur and srinagar got the city of crafts and folk arts in the in india okay remember this okay this all happened in 2019 next one recently which grand slam women's doubles was won by sania mirza okay so recently which grand slam women's doubles was won by the sania mirza the options are that is it is in 2015 okay remember this this question is from 2015 so options are a wimbledon b french open c us open d none of the above so the answer is us uh, sorry uh, wimbledon as well as uh, uh, us open okay so these both are answers are correct actually so uh, it uh, wimbledon happened with the uh, with the russian pair okay russian pair versus with the russian pair she uh, she won the uh, grand slam award then uh, we us open versus uh, it got awarded as the uh, like doubles with the australia and kazakh okay australian kazakh pair okay so she was paired with the switzerlands switzerlands what is that martin hingis okay both the time she was uh, sania mirza was paired with the martin uh, hingis she is from switzerland so these both uh, got uh, she won the, won the uh, wimbledon as well as us open in 2015 um by the one uh, from the russian pairs and another from the australia and the kazakhstan pair okay remember this next one in which state is india's longest road tunnel is coming up okay in which state is india's longest road tunnel is coming up the options are a himachal pradesh b uttarakhand c jammu kashmir d haryana so Uh, which is that longest road tunnel in india that is jammu kashmir okay so what is the name of the tunnel is that is dr shama prasad mukherjee mukherjee road tunnel okay remember this this is the india's longest tunnel uh, it is in jammu kashmir okay so its name is dr shama prasad mukherjee uh, road tunnel okay so it was inaugurated in the 2017 so uh, the tunnel is 9.2 km long okay long that is it in nh44 okay and it is the 
third longest tunnel in india uh, i mean world longest tunnel in the world 53rd longest tunnel in the world okay remember this it is 9.2 km okay and it cuts the distance between the jammu and srinagar by the 30 km this tunnel uh, cuts the distance between the srinagar and uh, jammu kashmir uh, jammu that is by 30 km okay this was inaugurated in 2017 okay we will see like uh, some of the uh, longest tunnel in the road tunnel in the world okay so first one uh, i mean first top one is that is norway okay norway tunnel that is 24.51 km uh, second one is australia australia has the 19 km long tunnel third one is japan like 18.20 km fourth one is china fifth one is also china only uh, that is first one is 8.18.0 km 15th one uh, sorry fifth one is 17.54 km okay these are the top five countries uh, which has the longest tunnel road tunnel in the world okay remember this okay next one which port has received the golden peacock award for environment management which port has received the golden peacock award for environment management the options are a krishna pattanam port b navasheva port c perambur port d kandla port okay so the answer is so this was awarded in 2015 remember this golden peacock award so it is called as uh, krishna pattanam port c, the, the port was awarded peacock uh, i mean golden peacock award okay so it is in uh, nellore district nellore district andhra pradesh okay andhra pradesh remember this this port is in krishna patnam it port is in nellore district of andhra pradesh okay so uh, the golden peacock award is awarded by the uh, world environment foundation okay world environment environment foundation foundation that is wef uh, in started in 1998 okay so in 2021 in 2021 it was awarded to which is that sale okay steel authority of india limited okay remember this sail okay so in 2015 it was awarded to krishna patnam port in 2021 it was awarded to seal that is steel authority of india limited okay next one first indian to win the oscar award first indian to win the oscar award options are a banu athaya b resul pukuti c a r rahman d none of the above so the answer is banu athaya okay she was the first indian to win the Oscar award for designing the costumes for the work in the movie that is Gandhi Gandhi 1982 okay so she was awarded for the designing of the costumes okay she was awarded for the 55th Academy Award okay Academy Award okay, remember this she was awarded for the designing the costumes for the movie Gandhi 1982 next one who is the leader of the opposition in the present Lok Sabha who is the leader of the opposition in the present Lok Sabha that is in 2015 okay in uh, 2015 so the options are a Mallikarjun Karge b uh, Rahul Gandhi c Sonia Gandhi d none of the above so at that time no one was there okay so it is answer is none of the above next question who is the finance minister of government of karnataka at present who is the finance minister of the government of karnataka at present that is in 2015 options are a rv deshpande b dk shukumar 
ಸಿ ಸಿದ್ದರಾಮಯ್ಯ ಡಿ ಕಾಗೋಡ್ ತಿಮ್ಮಪ್ಪ ಸೊ ಅಟ್ ದಟ್ ಟೈಮ್ ಸಿದ್ದರಾಮಯ್ಯ ವಾಸ್ ದಿ ಸಿ ಎಮ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಸೊ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಫೈನಾನ್ಸ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಗವರ್ಮೆಂಟ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದ ಆನ್ಸರ್ ಇಸ್ ಸಿದ್ದರಾಮಯ್ಯ ಹಿ ವಾಸ್ ದಿ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಸೆಕೆಂಡ್ ಸಿ ಎಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಅರೌಂಡ್ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಥರ್ಟೀನ್ ಟು ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಏಯ್ಟೀನ್ ಓಕೆ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಏಯ್ಟೀನ್ ಸೊ ನಾವು ಅಟ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ದಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಥರ್ಡ್ ಸಿ ಎಮ್ ಓಕೆ ಬಸವರಾಜ್ ಬೊಮ್ಮಾಯಿ ಹಿ ಇಸ್ ದಿ ಫೈನಾನ್ಸ್ ಮಿನಿಸ್ಟರ್ ಆಫ್ ಕರ್ನಾಟಕ ಎಟ್ ಪ್ರೆಸೆಂಟ್ ಓಕೆ ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ದಿಸ್ ಓಕೆ ದಿಸ್ ವಾಸ್ ದ ಲಾಸ್ಟ್ ಕ್ವೆಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಟೂ ತೌಸಂಡ್ ಫಿಫ್ಟೀನ್ uh we have finished all the series of from uh, 2022 to uh 2 to 2015 question papers so you can go through that all the question paper um and some questions are uh, repeated uh, go through that and uh, be thorough with the question and answers okay uh and uh, refer more and more question and answer for the uh, mba pgct mba papers okay so thank you okay uh, we will see in the next session with the new solutions okay thank you